brand new opportunity to the two of pentacles to balance out the situation and bring stability to the situation. Nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction to the three of swords in reverse, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness. Hey everyone, I just want to give a shout out real quick. At the end of this video, I am going to tell y'all about how I'm going back on the road and all about the new pony that I got. Yay! So if you want to hear all about it, stay after the end of the video. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's going on? We're doing things old school today. We're doing it uh, old school. No FaceTime because you know what? I just don't feel like getting all dialed up for the camera. So we're doing it this way. And why are we doing it this way? Well, Taurus, because... I feel the need to read. I really, really do. I really do. Something big is going on with Taurus, and I want to find out what it is. Something big is going on. There's just, I mean, Uranus is in our sign, you know? I mean, it's just something big's going on, and I want to know what's coming up. All right, you guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Subscribe if you like what you're about to see. Everybody, pull up a chair, get you a blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up, put your earbuds in, and let's hunker down and throw some tarot cards for Taurus today, all right? It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it as I clarify it, and we'll sew together a story. I'll go back to, and read it from the top. All right, so, oops. And, you know, I mean, I can't say enough that this is a general reading, right? And if you're a subscriber, you've heard me say this a million times. If you're new to the channel, I'm here to tell you there is no way to get the information, the wisdom, the guidance, and the understanding that you're trying to get by watching general YouTube tarot card readings. Tool. Tarot is an intimate divination tool that is supposed to relay messages from that person's higher power through the subconscious mind, okay? The only way you're going to get that is to have your own cards read. I don't care who reads your cards. Just get your damn cards read and stop binge watching tarot card readings because it will completely and totally fuck with your mind. All right, you guys, we're going to do this. Ready? Steady. Whoa. Ready, steady, and go. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. And Taurus wants to know what you know. Spirit, what do you know about Taurus? And what does Taurus need, need to know? What is coming for Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, Spirit, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? <clears throat> Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen in these cards <clears throat> to bring the collective of Taurus the information that they need to know and understand. Spirit, please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is you're going to say in these cards. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen. I'm going to shuffle a couple more times. I'll cut three times and I'll pull straight from the top. Please arrange yourself. That's the sweet spot right there. All right, let's see what we get. Let's cut three times. Can you guys see this okay? All right, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Swords in reverse. Some kind of new perspective of some sort of some kind. First card out. You see that good? First card out is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Trouble in the house. Trouble in the money. Trouble in the marriage. Um, used to hold title in someone's life, but doesn't anymore. Feeling out of control or powerless. To the Ace of Wands, some kind of inspired, passionate new beginning. 
to the two of pentacles that's going to balance all that out ace of swords truth justice power triumphant success to the Two of Swords, some kind of crossroads or defensiveness. Defensiveness about some truth. Used to hold title in someone's life, but don't anymore. In inspired new beginning balances out the situation. Truth is spoken, and now you're at a crossroads. Or there is financial difficulties or some kind of upset in the home, and you do feel somewhat powerless or out of control. All of that is going to change. It's all going to balance out and bring you financial balance. The Ace of Swords, triumphant success, and the crossroads to the Five of Cups in reverse. Moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment into purpose, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, into renewal maybe. Strength in the center of your spread. Being strong, needing to be strong, having courage, being determined. Sometimes it's about persuading someone or being persuaded. The Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past, unrealistic to reunite or reconcile differences. Six of Pentacles in reverse, not giving and receiving and sharing of the wealth. <clears throat> I don't know why my voice keeps sounding like that, you guys. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Temperance in reverse. Something is misaligned. Something's out of balance. Some kind of self-healing needs to take place. Four of Wands in reverse. A transition or a lack of structure or harmony. The Emperor in reverse. <laughs> the Emperor in reverse. Out of control. Uh, domineering, controlling. Seven of Swords. Some kind of fuckery to the Two of Wands. The future. Judgment in reverse, bad decision, deciding to not decide, ignoring the call. Eight of Pentacles, working on it, engaging the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. Let's see. Cups in reverse, nine of cups in reverse, ten of wands in reverse, the hair of in reverse, eight of wands in reverse. I swear, y'all, y'all saw me swirl these cards, right? Look at all of these reverses. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You see, if you don't read reversals in a reading, you are limiting the tarot to only 50% of its power. The reversals are not necessarily bad, nor are they negative. Sometimes like five of cups in reverse, moving on from loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Instead of the five of cups upright, loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. So don't give me no shit about reading reversals. <laughs> you want some milk toast tarot card reader? You can just move on down the road, buddy, because you ain't going to find that here. All right. Let's clarify this bad boy and see what the heck is happening. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is the key. This is pivotal. Okay. Well, the world in reverse is wanting to show itself here. Okay. So a, there's definitely a blockage going on. Definitely a blockage. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. To the Four of Pentacles. Control, security has been conflicted with the Five of Wands. Perhaps this is about money, Taurus. If it's not about money, let's see. Used to hold title, but don't anymore. Doesn't anymore. The blockage. No? You know what? I Well, let's just see how it goes. So there's a new beginning right here with the Ace of Wands. Let's see. What is this Ace of Wands about? What is this Ace of Wands? Nine of Cups. Three of Swords in reverse. Acceptance, understanding, forgiveness. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Still uh, maybe being a little stubborn. Maybe. Hmm. Three of Swords in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the crossroads. What's the, what's the Two of Swords about? It might not be crossroads, you know? I mean, it could be just indecision, choices. Sometimes it's about peace. What's the crossroads about? 
the Five of Cups. But see down here, you leave the Five of Cups and move into the star. So why the sadness? Eight of Cups in reverse, walking away. Hopelessness, why all the sadness? Oh, maybe it is, maybe it's because you were feeling so rough up here. Okay, tell me. The Hierophant to the King of Pentacles in reverse. All right, everybody, before we get started right here, I need you to know one thing. I swear, if I haven't sworn already, I can guarantee you I'm going to swear at some point in this video. If that bothers you, you should probably pack up and go home right now. All right, let's get going. All right, Taurus, this is what's shaken down. So the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You used to hold title in someone's life, but you don't anymore. Okay, and this is also Taurus feeling powerless in a situation. There's nothing you can do about it. Powerless, you used to hold title, but you don't anymore. Done, over with. Male, female, don't matter, okay? Or in the middle somewhere. It don't matter to me. I don't give a shit, but you're the queen of pentacles. The world in reverse. This is a blockage. There's been a blockage to you being able to have any kind of control over this situation. Ace of Pentacles. But there is a brand new opportunity, a brewing on the horizon. Death. Because somebody has had a transformation. You or this other person could be an entity, okay? But you and the other person or the other person have had some kind of transformation. And this is them coming in to offer their transformation, okay? And have a brand new beginning. Death, the end to what was, the beginning to what will be. The transformation from one state of being to another. That is what is going to happen in the coming, I don't know, six weeks or so, I guess, okay? The Four of Pentacles. Um, um, uh, the, the stability, your ability to control, your ability to have any power over anything. Five of Wands has been very, it has been filled with conflict. I think this whole thing right here has been filled with conflict. Um, where are my favorite cards? I think this whole thing has been filled with conflict for you. Tell me a little bit about the Five of Wands right there in this conflict. Why is Taurus in the reverse right there? Yeah, look, the chariot in reverse, right? There's just been some kind of blockage, just a blockage of some sort. No forward movement in this situation at all. But you or this other person has gone through a massive transformation. And now all that's about to come to a real quick end. Real quick end. Okay. How? Why? Well, the Ace of Wands, right? An inspired inspiration, fire energy in the chest, right? An inspired, passionate new beginning. Passion as in you are inspired about it, not necessarily passion like, like romance passion, but inspiration, a brand new opportunity to the Two of Pentacles to balance out the situation and bring stability to the situation. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, woohoo and yeehaw to the Three of Swords in reverse, understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness. To the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it fixes everything, though you remain to be quite stubborn about the situation. This Queen of Pentacles right here is stubborn, and this Queen of Pentacles right here is stubborn. And perhaps this is saying right here that you are stubborn and you have blocked this relationship. Uh-huh. Look at that. That's exactly what that's saying. You are reversed, right? You get your asses in their face and you're like, nope, nope, nope. This is blocked. This is over. Probably haven't talked to this person in forever. Blocked, over, done, blocking it, right? But now there's a manifestation of a new opportunity. Someone's coming in with a death offer for you, right? 
to the Four of Pentacles. The stability, the structure, the um, control, the power that you that you have. It's it's stabilizing the situation. It was conflicted before, and the chariot again confirms it was blocked. Blocked, blocked. Perhaps you have them physically blocked, but it's blocked. Ace of Wands, but there's there's an inspired new beginning that balances the whole thing out. Brings a shit ton of emotional satisfaction and happiness. Forgiveness all around, but you are still stubborn and resistant to this whole situation right here. Ace of Swords, what is spoken? There's truth that is spoken. There's truth that is brought to the surface. What is that truth? Well, the Prince of Cups, the way somebody feels about you or the way that you feel about somebody. This could be you doing this to this person. I mean, it's a general reading. I haven't the slightest idea who I'm talking to. It's just like an overall shell, right? So you could be bringing this message, but I feel like it's this person bringing this message to you and they speak their truth. Two of swords, man. You throw up those swords real quick. You're like, nope. <laughs> Hold up. Self-defense mode. Self-defense, self-defense, self-defense. What is happening right now? Five of cups. Last time I talked to you, this whole thing was filled with loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. So much so that I walked the fuck away and left this hopeless situation behind me. The Hierophant. <laughs> now you're coming to me and telling me that you're spiritually wiser, that you are, that you are grown, that you've changed, that you're committed, that you're stable, that you maybe even want commitment. You, you now you're telling me this. King of Pentacles in reverse. Mm -mm, I cut you off a long time ago. I healed from you and I cut you off a long time ago. Okay. Interesting. Pause. Uh, drink and smoke. Hold on. All right, five of cups in reverse. Moving on. Now this card came out both ways, right? So moving on. Moving on from what? Because you're moving into the star. Purpose, faith, renewal, hope. So moving on, moving on from what? The injustice, the injustice of what? Well, whatever caused this thing in the first place. Moving on. From loss, regret, despair, and disappointment into justice, truth, honesty, and fairness. You are getting what you sh should have gotten the first go-round. But this person wasn't ready with the death card. This person wasn't ready. Now they're ready. Now they're ready. They weren't ready before. And that was part of the injustice of the last time is that this person who is professing their feelings to you that you are stubbornly blocking and guarding yourself from um, to bring injustice to the situation. The hangman. Thinking. Thinking, thinking, thinking. What are, you, well, what are you thinking about? Well, the star. What are you thinking about? Well, the knight of swords in reverse. Absolute scattered in the mental right there. Absolutely scattered in the mental. And thinking about possibly even a disregard for consequences to the page of cups. And saying, fuck it, let's do this. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. To the star. Moving into hope and faith and purpose and renewal of this relationship. I love that card. My daughter is an Aquarius. Strength. In the center of your reading. Strengthened, fortified. Why are you strengthened and fortified? Why do you have courage? Why are you strengthened and fortified? Well, the King of Swords in reverse. All of the manipulative, tyrannical, uh, impulsive, stupid behavior 
of this person in the past, the painful ending that happened, the betrayal, the deception, the deceit, the crisis that perhaps it caused in your life. Give me one for this, Spirit. Give me one for the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords. The King of Swords in Reverse and Strength. Give me one on top of these, please. One on top of these. Fortified, strengthened, having courage. Sometimes it's about persuasion. Tell me. There we go. The Three of Coins in Reverse. So the Three of Pentacles in Reverse. Disregard for skills. Okay. All right. Okay. Disregard for skills. Disregard for skills. So because truth was spoken, apologies were made, messages of creation were delivered. There's been a lot of thinking and thinking about the message of creation that's coming to you and also possibly saying, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Hope, faith, Renewal, purpose, being strengthened, being fortified. Three of coins in reverse. This is a, it's, it's a lack of teamwork and collaboration, but it's also about disrespect and a disregard for skills. And I think it's both. And when I say a disregard for skills, it means someone doesn't see your value, right? So someone didn't see your value. Um, yeah, someone didn't see your value. King of Swords in reverse, and this person was a dick. I mean, a total dick. A man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This person was a dick to the Ten of Swords, and they caused you a lot of grief and a lot of pain. And that's why you're in the reverse twice. Resistant and blocking. That's why this hole up here is about blocking, blocking, blocking. Okay. To the Six of Cups in reverse. It's unrealistic to reunite or reconcile. You're a thinking. To the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You know what? I don't want to share none of my shit with this person. Mm -mm. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Lost opportunity. Done over gone. Nine of Pentacles. Self-sufficiency. Independence. I am done. I'm over this. I'm gone. Judgment. Decision. Now you have to make a decision. A big decision. Ten of Wands in reverse. An overwhelming struggle and burden. Because it's about your future. It's about your future. The Knight of Pentacles. As you look into the future, as you assess the landscape of life, and you move steadily in the direction that you think you should be going, do you want to carry this person with you? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Will it always be like it's always been? Can I trust this? Can I even, even trust this? Or is it going to always be like it's always been? If I keep doing what I've always done, am I always going to get what I've always gotten? To temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse says that a realignment needs to take place. And in this realignment comes self-healing. To the four of wands in reverse. Um, self-healing and a transition self-healing of yourself in this situation and putting um remember that you are super um stubborn right here and super guarded and it's block block reverse reverse block 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 right but now you're really thinking about all of this stuff it brings justice to the table hope and renewal is on is on the is on offer here right strength you're trying to you are strengthened you are strong and the relationship is strengthened because somebody didn't see your worth before, but now they're apologizing all over the place about it, right? But you're kind of stuck in the past and you're like, this isn't, this isn't even, you know, even, even something I want to talk about. Judgment, decision, it's an overwhelming burden when this person comes back and does this. I mean, it's almost not like a joyful thing, right? But Temperance in Reverse says there's some healing that needs to take place, some kind of realignment that needs to take place. The Emperor in Reverse. Um, the Emperor in Reverse is a domineering, overbearing 
kind of energy and it's clarified by the devil which is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth because of hurt feelings with the queen of cups in reverse what these cards are saying is that is that there needs to be a realignment so you can transition out of this up here and into this down here it's it's an overwhelming energy with the emperor in reverse a domineering energy it's 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 something that is constantly there even if you haven't talked to this person in forever there's still that th spot inside of you that small teeny tiny little spot that can get pressed sometimes um and it's this person that's in that spot, right? So this overburdening, over dominating energy of the way that you feel about this person right here, because of what they did, these coins, these coins, these cards say. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth and it's what needs to be realigned in order for you to heal in the situation. And it's because of hurt feelings, right? Seven of Swords, betrayal and deception. That's what it's about. Hurt feelings, betrayal and deception that caused a breakup. But temperance comes on top and turns up right here and says, and says healing, purpose in healing. There was purpose to why all the shit went down between you. Was it handled appropriately? Probably not. You know, spirits just, just kind of going, oh man, you just really could have handled that a little bit better down there. <sighs> right? <laughs> But now they're encouraging major arcanas all over the place, encouraging healing and renewal and forgiveness and acceptance of this situation, this person. Your future, looking into the future, judgment in reverse. You don't want to make bad decisions. Three of cups in reverse because this person in the past was full of fuckery some kind of third party situations. Maybe they had uh, uh, girlfriends or boyfriends. Maybe they had um, too much work, too much PTA, too much golf, whatever the fuck the thing was. Um, you are really concerned that it's going to keep happening to the alchemist in reverse. But man, you see a lot of potential in this. You see a lot of potential. I mean, it's, it's why this person still sticks in your craw, as we would say in the South, that spot, right? Whatever, la, 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 day, going about your day, going about your week, blah, 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 and then boom, oh, there it is, right? And then you go about your life, and, you know, a month later, it's like, ooh, there it is. And it's the only person in your life that is that. It's time to heal that, and there is potential in the situation, Seven of Pentacles, reflecting and assessing, thinking, trying to figure out how things could be approached or done differently this time around. After all, this person is saying that they've had a transformation. I mean, they're coming with the death offer, right? The Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, fighting. Is it, is it, is it worth putting in the effort that it's going to take for me to get over this? Over what? The Ten of Cups in reverse. The broken emotions the empty cups the broken emotions the hangman thinking about it hard about it did you hear that i sound like canadian about it thinking about it hard with the ace of cups in reverse thinking about all the hurt feelings and being overwhelmed with emotions emotions and options and choices and decisions with the seven of cups the moon man you're digging in you're doing the feels here you are feeling your intuition your subconscious mind you're really really feeling it out and this is also about perhaps being afraid that you're not seeing something clearly because of the king of cups in reverse right are you being emotionally manipulated are you being tricked are you falling right back into the same old situation that it used to be to the three of cups but damn it fills you with celebration you really want to sit down and get together and really have a one-on-one -on -one and catch up with this person if 
anything, even if this is not romantic. And to tell you the truth, I don't even really have any romantic cards here. Honestly, I don't. I don't. It doesn't mean it's not love, but there's no real romantic cards in here. Prince of Cups. Queen of Cups is in reverse the page. So we have a page and a prince. Anywho, so if you want to get to know, you want to, you want to sit down and catch up with this person. Like I said, even if it's not love, you want to, um, you care about this person and you would love to see how life has been treating them. The tower in reverse, a personal transformation. Okay. So either the thought of meeting up with either the, the, either in person or not. Okay. You have a personal transformation, hence temperance and healing right? And the star, you have a personal transformation, the tower. I mean, they could have said personal transformation in a variety of different ways, but the tower in reverse indicates the tower upright, which was from the past with this person. Um, the tower in reverse is kind of, it's, 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 it's not smoldering anymore. Okay. Personal transformation, the world in reverse, the blockage that you have of this person, blocking this person, not being involved with this person at all to the wheel of fortune. There is a turning point in the destiny of this relationship to the eight of pentacles, engaging, working on it, gaining mastery of it, building it to the sun. And it leads you to happiness, success, and vitality. This is what you want. Whoever I'm identifying with here, this is, this is, this is, this is beautiful. If you want this, if this is you that I'm touching on and you want this, you absolutely positively need to have your own cards read. I mean, I swear to God, do not make a decision, a life-altering decision based on a general tarot card reading, okay? If you call me, we can jump into your person's energy and get the root of what they are because whoever I'm dealing with here is dealing with someone that has some fuckery, right? But apparently they've had a personal transformation. I mean, maybe it's a Scorpio. Maybe it's an Aquarius. Maybe it's a Pisces. Maybe it's a Cancer. Maybe it's a Leo. Um, maybe it's a Leo. Um, what else? <laughs> maybe it's uh, Sagittarius with temperance, right? I mean, it could be anybody. But the person that is uh, picking up what I'm putting down right here, um, we need to jump into your person's energy before you make any decisions because this is general. Okay? All right, you guys. Well, that was your reading. This is beautiful. Way to go. Woohoo. Right on. I am so happy about this. Let's do, um, let's do one of these real quick. This is the Numerology Guidance Cards by Michelle Buchanan. All right. Spirit, what do you have to say here? What are your closing words for Taurus? Closing words for Taurus. What do you have to say here? Oh, I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up, you guys. Holy schmoly. Forgiveness 96. What is this about? What? What? Hold on. 96. 9. If I could. 96. Forgiveness. All right. This card indicates a need to forgive yourself and others for past actions that may have caused you pain. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to heal any unresolved anger, hate, jealousy, resentment, or guilt that is blocking your success. Such emotions are toxic to your body and hold you back from attracting a harmonious life. For the sake of your health and future happiness, you must forgive the past. Forgiveness doesn't necessarily mean blessing, forgetting, or condoning the unsavory behavior of others. It means releasing yourself from a self-created prison so you can move forward with your life. When you come to accept and move on from real or perceived betrayals, you create a happier future built on freedom and inner peace. Bitterness only attracts disharmony, misery, and pain. Thus, forgiveness is the best way to set your spirit free. 
in order to improve your current situation you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life cycles that are that are encouraging you to forgive people situations and behaviors from the past by reliving past misfortune you run the risk of, atta of attracting more of the same but when you forgive let go and move on you can make your dreams come true you improve your prospects for the future when you practice acceptance and forgiveness hallelujah man that's freaking awesome you guys sorry about that phone ringing but i can't control it that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome that's awesome all right that's your reading you can hit me up at the uh gypsy psychic.com if you need me um if it ain't me get somebody else to read your cards i don't care it won't hurt my feelings and namaste so yeah now my exciting news I have the need to move, hence the title, The Gypsy Psychic, because I do have some, some blood down in there somewhere that doesn't let me sit tight for too long. I know, I'm a Taurus, I know, I know, I'm supposed to be steady and stable, but you know what? I like to travel, and I like to see new things and do new things and conquer new things, and I am headed back out on the road again. If you're new to the channel and you don't know, last year for about six months, I traveled around in a Mercedes Sprinter van that I had converted into basically a camper, basically a hotel room, and I traveled around the country and I took you guys with me. Well, it's fixing to go down again. But this time, this time I'm taking Georgie with me. Yes, this is my horse. I bought a horse. Her name is Georgie. I thought to myself, you know, Dana, life is about living to your fullest. And what is it that makes your soul happy? And the very first thing I gravitated back towards was horses. I've had horses my whole life and I love them. I am an advanced equestrian and I know tons about riding and horses. So I am going to take my sweet Georgie on the road with me. I'm going to buy her a special trailer and we are going to go to every national park in the country. And we are going to stop at horse camps along the way. And we are going to spend the summer riding the country. Um, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Cause I said this in the Pisces video and I got some comments about, oh, that poor horse. No, 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 no. Number one, this horse is a trail aficionado. Number two, this horse will only be traveling for a maximum of six hours at a time. It's not like I'm going to drive from place to place with the poor horse in the trailer the whole way. No, 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 no. We're going to drive to our destination. We're going to pitch camp. We're going to stay there for a few weeks, explore, discover, and then we'll carry on to our next destination. So don't you worry about this pony. She'll be just fine. So that's what we're all going to look forward to. I am taking my horse and I am traveling the country. If you ride, hit me up, reach out. We can ride together. I'm taking this horse, I'm traveling the country, and I am fulfilling my heart's desire, as I do hope you do too. Namaste.